All right, July 26, three o'clock in the morning. A little bit different trip this uh, this time around. Actually, not my trip. I'm just tagging along. Uh, Mitch and uh, his friend Jake are hiking up uh, to the mountain lake to do some fishing and uh, camping overnight. So I'm just uh, tagging along. Uh, it's about a two hour drive up to Dubois area uh, where there's uh, um, the lake itself is in the wilderness area so there's no way to drive up to it. Um, it's only hiking. And uh, let's see, don't know much about uh, the lake or the trail. Not sure how, how long the, the, the trail is. I guess uh, it will, I'll find out um, as we get out there. Hopefully uh, my old body will hold up and keep up with the young studs here. All right. All right, we are at trailhead moving out. Beautiful morning, nice and crisp air. Not sure about the temperature, uh, the elevation here is, let's see, seven and a half thousand feet. And we were moving out. Boy, I'm out of breath. Here comes Mitch. So we are at the Fitzpatrick Wilderness boundary. From then on, it's only horses or foot travelers. You're having that rest on your shoulders? Yeah, officially, I'm out of shape. Better do it more often. So far, we climbed a little bit over a thousand feet from all the way down there. But it sure is taking its toll on me. All right. Somebody invested some time and effort to make these barriers, preventing the, the trail to your road. And here too. At this elevation, every, every yard is an effort. Let me see what we're at. So we are at 85.44, so a little bit over a thousand feet so far. A lot of evidence of beetle kill, all these trees the dead ones there's been the last five years epidemic of beetle beetle kill out here but but I still have to climb up there 
So there's a qu quite a bit of ways to go still. So this path goes across this rocky formation. And I'm wondering <coughs> if it's human feet that crushed the rock to almost pulverizing it. Or did somebody came out here with <coughs> sledgehammer or something? If it is by human feet, that's pretty incredible that a rock cannot stand up. Boy, I think I prefer to travel by car without a doubt. It's so beautiful, especially when it's still like this. Not a movement in the air. Well, so far, according to the GPS, um, 1,200 yards, which is probably not accurate because you know, I think it's count straight up. But anyway, 87 feet above the sea level. And if the distance is correct, according to the GPS, it feels like I've hiked farther than that, but of course, with all the effort, my judgment is skewed. Um, anyway, it's still pretty steep, even if it's farther distance than where it shows on GPS. Of course, all this, my little brakes turning on the camera <laughs> sounds like a bunch of bitching and moaning. But I welcome anyone to come out here and give it a try. <laughs> but anyway, it's all the way up there. Still ways to go. And I think the boys are taking it easy on me. I don't know if they are un underestimating me or whatever, but they are somewhere behind. I think they're giving me a little reprieve. Okay, I can I can hear the boy boys coming. Oh yeah they are. See them through the woods. Well, little by little. Still ways to go, taking a little break, waiting on the boys to show up. <sighs> it, uh, I guess, the what's the cliche? It sucks to get old, something like that. Uh, I suppose it's never easy. But it sure is uh, getting harder as one is getting advanced in the age as I am. That's yeah, still good times. Boy, them youngsters, they just cannot live without music. It's crazy. For me, getting out here, it, the whole purpose is to get away from all that noise pollution. Well, I don't know, I think I said it before, I'm not sure about the trail, <coughs> but I, as far as I know, we need to get up on the top and there is going to be still ways to go, but I think once we're on the top, there's going to be another climb. Rock River. And of 
course is the valley below that's where we, we have parked How does it feel? Uh, not as bad as I thought. Yeah. It's nice here in the shade, but mosquitoes are pretty bad out here. I can hear a little stream over that way. At least the mosquitoes aren't as bad as you've shown. Yeah. It's always amazing to me how there are springs in the mountains. You climb and climb and climb and all of a sudden kaboom starts a spring. Well, it took us a while. From here we can't even see the the valley of when where we parked. It's shielded by this. Is that horse flies? That landing on me? Anyway, it's down there below. But we climbed to 10,000 feet. And uh, it's a slow going. <laughs> I need to get out a little bit more often to keep in shape. Well, it's beautiful, even though we probably should hustle because it's getting hot. Pretty soon it will be even harder. Still some ways to go to reach the top. We're right where that glacier is. Behind that, you know, there is a lake. That's our destination. Wow, this is interesting. That was a wildfire, seems like. Probably a couple of years. Here's the glimpse of the lake that we set out to get to today. Nice little clearing. completely positive but I think I'm getting close to the lake boys got ahead of me I'm really dragging <laughs> I have uh, discovered muscles that I didn't know I have and my hip is uh, acting up so I'm uh, dragging behind but I'm hoping uh, somewhere over there is the lake because I'm I'm done for today. <clears throat> well, my hopes did not materialize. I can see the lake, but it's still ways to go to it. All right, better get going. But what a beautiful, beautiful area. Yeah, just incredible. Here it is, the beautiful. But tomorrow, tomorrow it's going to be a hell of a climb. Let me see. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Well, here it is. 
just a little bit more left. Well, we not only I got to the lake, but sitting around the fire, and of course, for any camper, that's the favorite pastime. Lake is just over that way. Um, Jake has gotten his pole, caught a fish. Mitch is still laboring, laboring on one. We'll see if he will be successful. I think I recovered a little bit. My uh, hip is <laughs> bugging the heck out of me. But um, beautiful evening. Well, it's not evening just yet, but uh, the sun is probably will hide behind those mountains fairly soon. Probably another an hour or so. Anyway, good times. As always. Right on. Mitch got the fish too. Looks like brown trout. Pretty nice size too. Alright. <laughs>